Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Angle MT V45F 40 litre portable fridge freezer. Now guys, uh, the difference with these is you can get two different types, okay? And some people do get confused. There is a combo version of a fridge freezer. Even though this says fridge freezer, you can have it down to freezing temperatures or at fridge temperatures. However, if you want to have a fridge and freezer run simultaneously, you do have to look for the FC version, okay? So just to clear that up straight away in the review. So this is how it comes in the box here. As you can see, I've got uh, the transit bag as well because I thought, why not get a nice cover, you know, buying a nice, um, decent uh, fridge freezer. So let's open it all up and show you it in detail. So it comes with a 240 volt power cord, a 12 volt power cord, and two of the handles. The manual with eight screws and an extra fuse. The inner liner mat the internal basket and naturally the fridge itself so let's get the handles attached and put the basket and everything in and we'll take a closer look at the features okay so we've got the handles on now as you can see the fridge comes in this gunmetal gray color we've got a few different features we can run over guys but first of all i'll talk about how much it weighs so this 40 liter fridge freezer weighs in at 24 kilos the uh, dimensions on it are 648 mil by 364 mil by 508 millimeters. One of the big selling points with the angle fridges is not only their reliability, but the fact that they have very low um, current consumption. So it'll pull up to about 2.6 amps from 0.5 to 2.6. So I'd imagine as you're setting it to cool, then obviously it's going to draw more, but then to maintain it, it'll be a lot less. So that's one of the things that uh, we'll have a look at here. And when I plug it in, I'll put it into the little blue eddy that I've got, and we can actually see how many watts is going out as well. So the latch on it is really smooth. It's also lockable. You can see a hole there in the side where you could put a small padlock on if you wish. The handles are nice and reinforced and they just feel nice in general. We've got corner protectors on each corner of the fridge. There's an internal LED light which automatically turns on and shuts off as you open and close the fridge door. And the internal basket is a new reinforced design over previous models. So the good thing about the height of the internal basket is obviously if you've got tall bottles like a tall bottle of wine or you know milk that sort of thing there's plenty of room for it to stand upright and you'll fit about 60 standard cans internally there. So you know for me that was more than enough for what I want when I'm out camping and just on the road. It comes standard with an inbuilt battery monitor. There's also a digital temperature control which we'll have a look at the panel there closer in just a moment. And we've also got an auto power uh, switching uh, feature on this as well. So I'm just using the 12 volt feature off the Blue Eddy to the angle fridge. To turn it on with the dial, just simply turn on like so. It'll come straight up there with the temperature as you can see. And then we've got our current temperature at 21 degrees. So obviously it's gonna work hard now to bring that temperature down. So all you gotta do is just click the mode button once to set the temperature, and then, as you can see, we can change the temperature setting from there. And it'll go down as low as minus 18, which look, guys, I don't know why you would <laughs> ever want that, but you know, the setting is there. So for me, I mean, I'd like to have it just sitting around, you know, around that, um, one degrees minus one somewhere there that's where i'd want it so it just keeps uh drinks nice and cool any uh food or anything like that um you know obviously it's going to be nice and cool at one degrees now if you click the mode button twice it'll come up with the inbuilt battery monitor so at the moment i've got it off and i'd probably leave it off because i've um, got really no need to have that enabled personally so I'm just using the Blue Eddy AC50B. Guys, if you like the look of this, uh, check out my individual review of it. But you can see here that it's only drawing there 35, 36 watts. So, you know, that's uh, considerably less than even like the uh, June four-wheel drive fridge that I reviewed there recently. I mean, it was using 50 watts there when it was drawing and trying to uh, cool down. So, you know, 
that really is nice to see that it is such a low draw um, you know on your battery or power source there so i'm not sure if you can hear it guys but honestly that uh, motor running is very very quiet even when it's obviously you know working to get that temperature down to the uh, setting of one degrees So we've only been talking for you know, a couple of minutes since I plugged this in. As you can see, it's down to 17 degrees now, and the readout will just continue to go down until it gets to the desired temperature, which in my case here is one degree Celsius. So while we're waiting for it to cool down, I just thought I'd put on that canvas travel cover. As you can see, look, it looks pretty nice. Even at the back here, there's the mesh and it's all you know, cut out so it can obviously still breathe, all the cords can go through. And it is uh, an insulated cover with a pocket at the front here. So we've got a pocket there, you know, there's Velcro there so you can put it around the handles, no problem at all. And then there's a thick cover on top, some Velcro there so you can just stick it, you know, to the uh, roof of the uh, fridge or you can zip it all the way up there if you're on a longer journey. So yeah, quite like that. So that's pretty quick guys, well under 10 minutes and here we are down to our desired temperature. And then taking a look at the Blue Eddy, we don't even have it registering as any draw. So yeah, I'd say it's uh, fairly energy efficient, that's for sure. So now we've got the temperature down to our desired setting. Let's get some beer on board. For me, Great Northern, super crisp. I'd love to know what your favorite beer is and why. Comment below guys, and let's get the conversation going. So you know, why are angle fridges so popular? That was the thing that I wanted to find out for myself. Yeah, look, I've only just got it guys. Um, am I happy so far? Yeah, I can't fold it. But I think the big thing with them is their warranty. So a five year warranty on the compressor, uh, temperature control unit, uh, the fan and the power supply, etc. there's three years. And then you've got one year on the latch and the basket. So I found that funny how they break that down, but that's what it is. You'll hear stories about people who swear by the angle fridges that they've had them last for you know 20 plus years, which is pretty damn good. So I wanted something that was just taller, fairly compact. Um, I didn't want something larger that's going to take up a whole heap of room and that's why I went this way. So price wise of it guys, um, they're normally $1,500. I went to BCF, they had a sale on where they are $1,350. Um, the canvas uh, cover for it, I mean I want to look after the fridge, I want it to last many years and also a little bit more insulation so that's why I got it. Uh, it was $235 and it was down to $130. Um, they ended up doing that for me when I bought the fridge. So, you know, the units now, uh, well, this one is made in Thailand. So, you know, just being uh, open and honest about that. Um, I believe the compressor in it, um, you know, is Japanese technology, whether it's actually made in Japan or not, I'm not quite sure. Uh, comment below, you guys will probably know about it who are, you know, mad keen on these fridges. So this is the most important part, you know, of the review. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry guys, but you know, someone has to do it. <laughs> Cheers. Damn, that's good.